All right guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mateo. Let's talk about what happened in the S&P 500 today. Check this out. Overall today on the S&P 500, we actually did a little bit of a move here. So um, this morning on December 2nd, we dropped down because of a bad jobs number, okay? So a bad jobs number came out in the economy um, for the market, but a good jobs number for us. So for the working folk, uh, our job number was good because that means there's still jobs available and it's still a red hot job market but it is slowing down and um, companies are starting to lay off employees as you've seen in tech in tech world crypto mortgages Facebook meta whatever you want to call it nowadays uh, they're laying people off okay so at, at a big rate all right not a huge rate but a couple percent maybe five six eight percent of the company so that is about cost savings because these companies have algorithms they're very financially aware of the economy they understand what money's coming in what money's going out they need to reduce headcount reduce costs so they're doing that right now so we'll see the larger companies that um, are not so technologically advanced do that later but the tech companies that um, kind of really suffer against um, investors pulling money out due to interest rates rising and the uh, rates kind of going up over time right so uh, anyways on the 34 minute chart really uh, good pitch pictorial for you guys so today we dropped off at 930 to 40402 and just kind of steadily climbed up back on this uh, EMA here and then we hit the mid band bounced off that got away about halfway between the EMA and the lower band and then kind of drifted back up so on a big jump down on jobs which is not really that big of a news I mean it is it's news to the market because the the, the markets hoping that jobs are slowing down so the Fed can slow down the pace of the rate hike if the jobs are going up then the Fed has to keep doing the the high rate hikes okay so that's why it was a big drop off in the beginning of the morning okay opened at 404 and dropped down to 402 and then bounced off in that area okay so this is just a 34 but on the lower time frames you can see about where it landed and what it bounced off of um, we did finish above the 200 day moving average on SPY but also it, just as important is SPX so SPX is the S&P 500 in its most natural, purest form. And as you can see, once this thing loads, it also hit its 200 day moving average, right? They're pretty much hand in hand, but sometimes they act a little different. So it hit its 200 day yesterday, it kind of tapped it um, more precisely, and then it broke above it today and held above it today. So that was a, a, a sign, a huge sign of strength um, it went and tested about half this candle so we could keep moving up here and we're kind of aiming towards this 50 day moving average on the weekly but what do you notice about the 50 day on the whole year right we dropped below we jumped above it beginning in april and then we've been below it ever since we tapped it in august when that bull, that bull run from you know um june and july all the way to august dropped back down to the 200 day and then moved up again to um kind of tap it on the 50 day so with that being said, we're still in an uptrend here on SPX, S&P 500, SPY, but um, it, the market is starting to move sideways and it's being very careful with the CPI print ahead on uh, December, I believe it's on a Tuesday, pull up the calendar here, yeah, December 6th or the 13th is the CPI, it's actually the 13th I believe. So the CPI comes out then, the market will move just like this, either up or down depending on that number I think we're gonna tread lightly between now and then and then we have the holidays there's only so many trading days left of the year probably like 12 or 15 trading days left so let's see what happens the rest and uh, like always please thanks uh, for tuning in and please like and subscribe I'm gonna keep going over um, the charts the indicators how to enter how to exit trades and we're gonna do more um, intellectual videos than just reviewing the uh, the market going here forward so i'm going to do a review of the market and then a more kind of teach you how to trade okay so thanks guys for joining like always stay green